What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 build. Today we're going to be focusing on the Titan Behemoth class as I have finally got the subclass completed and I have a really great but simple and straight to the point build for all of you to use. With the use of Cryo Slam Aspect, Glacial Grenades, Whisper of Shards and Salvation's Grip, we can create a unlimited grenade spam setup with such a wide and silly reach that you'll be able to avoid using weapons at times and just receive a bucket load of grenade energy overall and generally over and over again. We're going to chuck in some firepower mods and charge with light mods for extra precaution, but overall, like my Warlock grenade build I last did, it's going to work in a similar manner, but with more sliding involved. I'm making full use of the glacial grenades for not only protection, but also to create a chain reaction or the most smallest action you create. New and veteran players, you're going to love this one. Starting off with the subclass, we will be using the Behemoth Titan class with the Cryo Slam Aspect and Whisper of Shards Fragment. With the Aspect and Fragment combined, you'll be able to produce a grenade at a moderately higher rate than normal thanks to the Whisper of Shards Fragment's buff in Grenade Regen Rate, and then the Cryo Slam Aspect will allow you to simply slide into them to destroy them. Now this does sound pretty simple and dull, and I have to admit it is, as using the Aspect will only allow you to unlock and use only one fragment, which weakens the build for customization. But from playing around the build, its main design and focus is pretty great for straightforward content, where you don't want to heavily invest into all these different stats, mods and exotic. Compared to my Warlock Grenade build, that build, although extremely strong and versatile to use in endgame, a lot of the gear being used won't be available for most new or veteran players, or those who are more on the casual side of things. This build here though is pretty simple with setting up whenever you want, as the gear is easy to get except from the exotic if you're new and you can pretty much use the build without the use of exotics or mods and still get a lot of mileage out of it. This is what makes the build very really strong for all users as the gear needed will be there for you already and use of the glacial grenades are great for a offensive and defensive role which you can practically use anywhere you go. Did I also forget to mention that you can use this to your advantage as well? where you can set up loads of glacier columns surrounding enemies and destroy them for a constant grenade cooldown. This subclass and build may not offer the most in customizations here, but synergy is pretty simple and something that caters well to those who just need a build to crowd control on the titan quickly. Now for your grenades, I would recommend you use the glacier grenades to their fullest for the offensive and defensive role. The glacier grenades will offer the most for you when combined with the shards of whisper, as each glacier destroyed will activate the whisper's main perks. Good thing about this is that each glacier created, you get around 4 to 5 of them to spawn, and destroying them individually will pop the perk. So, as you'll see later, this is how we will create unlimited glaciers and grenades. For the weapons, you're going to need the Demolitionist or the Wellspring perk to cover the grenade regen while using the aspect and fragments. Ideally, this can be done however you like. Heavy will need to be the Salvation's Grip so we can keep our fragment buff going as much as we can although this can be switched out depending on the content and boss you're facing. My primary I've opted into is using the Breach Light Sidearm with Elemental Capacitor and Demolitionist. Although the Elemental Capacitor doesn't work with the Dark subclass, the weapon is still overall powerful against anything and everyone it's used against. The weapon is a simple aggressive 2 burst sidearm with great stats and hits extremely hard when landing critical hits. The demo perk on the weapon will come in handy for regenerating my grenade stat, but like I mentioned earlier, the last perk is practically useless for the weapon. I would advise you to try and get the Vorpal weapon for a boss damage boost, although that might sound a bit absurd, or get the Rampage version or the Multi-Clip Ball version with a minor or major spec to truly have something worth using against yellowed health enemies. I've also heard that the new Seasonal Sidearm is a great alternative to have if you haven't managed to get the Breach Light before. For our secondary, I'm using the New and Hunger AR with Phil Prep and Demolitionist, and is a perfect setup for crafting a all grenades build. I tend to bounce between which secondary I use for what content, as although the Northern Hunger is a very powerful AR with a large magazine size, it's not always the best option to use for cleaning out a large group of enemies. At times, I may use my Marty Retribution with Demolitionist and a Blast Radius mod for the ideal clean sweep setup that matches well with the Glacier Grenades, and would highly recommend you give this a go as well as the synergy between glacier grenades and then breaking them down via your grenade launcher is quite strong, although weak against bosses. Like the last video I did, it will follow suit with the method of getting grenade energy by the bucket loads. 
With the use of the demo perk, it will allow me to gain a consistent boost of regen rate per enemies taken out, but at the same time will pair really well with the sustained charge for the charge with light mod and the fire power times 3 mod for a 60% grenade regen rate. Every time we get a multi kill with a weapon, we will become charged with light and then use our grenade to proc both the demolitions perk and the firepower mod to which we should be fully refunded again. For a heavy, I've chosen to use the Salvation's Grip Grenade Launcher to further aid us in the boost of grenade energy synchronizations via the artifacts and aspect. With the use of the grenade launcher, I can keep my grenades regen topped up each time I destroy a glacier, and this will come in handy when I don't have any grenades left, as the exotic we are using increases the amount of grenades we can carry, and that's it. It's also pretty strong against bosses with its ability to stun lock them, although it's not going to be the best weapon to use for boss DPS. For the stats, your main focus of the build is to build up your discipline stat as high as possible, but not too high. I'm currently rocking a 70 in my discipline for a 45 second cooldown rate, which I find is the sweet spot as it leaves me room to also fully utilize my mods and perks and also see the noticeable changes. You may want to go for 80 for a 41 second cooldown, which I would say is also a good spot to aim for. You may not want to even aim this high if you have the perks available that will be providing you with a large grenade boost anyways, which means you can aim a bit lower than shown. My resilience is at the 80, simply because of my armor pieces I have that have rolled a high resilience stat, and then the artifact being used also provided me with a plus 10, which is great, but not really needed for this area. Recovery is at 40, which is okay to have, but also slightly hurts the build when regen health back. As we have a high resilience stat and use the glacial grenades, our defense is pretty high and we can utilize them for recovering health behind some protection, although this may vary depending on the type of enemies you face. And next for the armor, the main affinity you're going to need is the solar for the charge with light and firepower mods to add in the provider slots. This should be fairly simple to achieve and gather, but if not, do remember you have the season pass armor that could help as well. Azotics being used will be the armamentarium for the double grenades and it will also need to be solar affinity for the above reasons once again. Don't worry if you don't have the exotic as you can still make it work within your favor. Now as we have covered the main gist of the setup we are using, here are the mods we have and how they will overall affect the build. For head, we have recovery and sustain charge mod. Arm, we have discipline, impact induction and firepower mod. Chest, minor strength, cookers of damina times 2 and firepower mod. Leg, recovery and firepower mod. Mark, distribution and stacks on stacks mod. The build's main purpose is to make sure you have your grenades fully stocked at all times and the aspect of achieving that with ease is practically available for you through a quick but easy method. Like the last build we did, it will follow suit with the idea of utilizing the glacier grenades at a group of enemies and freezing those to get in contact with them and then simply either sliding directly into them to shatter the glaciers and also taking out the enemies or shoot them and shatter them instead. Whatever method you choose to do, even one will work as it will proc the Whisper of Sharp perk and you will see the region timer count down while your grenade cooldown will increase for the next 10 seconds at an extraordinary rate. Now the method described is what will happen when you do just that and not utilize your mods or perks, which give you a great understanding as to how powerful it is on its own. With the added use of the firepower mod times 3, we get a 60% grenade buff when charged with light, which will allow us to always have one grenade fully available while we use our second one, and then the demo perk will be kicking in each time we get a kill with our secondary, so the grenade regen at this point will be processing a lot more faster. Overall, the process now will change to throw a grenade at a target and get a kill with it, then proc the artifact grenade cooldown rate, then get a multi kill to proc the charge with light and stacks and stacks mod, then use our grenades again and keep repeating this process over and over again with making sure the glaciers are being destroyed to keep the flow going. It's not as strong compared to using the variety's brow or frosty versions that are available, nor does it provide a damage buff like most people will be utilizing for the new whisper, which is viable setup to use for the build as well, but you'll be losing out on the most important factor of the build. But overall, the build does offer what I like to say is a safe space for those who are attacking in tougher content and like to have as much protection as possible, but with offensive options made available as well. Now, having the barricade is great for personal defense on a number of occasions, but they can easily shatter and they don't really offer a lot when you build into them, even with the exotics available to improve in this area. 
With this setup though, you can be both offensive by creating tons of glaciers, which will benefit you greatly, but at the same time you can utilize them as a shield to protect you from incoming damage, and destroying them will come back to you as a buff. So as you can see you have the flexibility for not only spamming grenades like a lunatic, but also with adding in reasonings and benefits. You may think what would be the point of something like this, but I can see this being useful in the higher tier content such as nightfalls or even raids, when you need room to breathe or even PvP to a slight degree, which surprisingly can allow you to outer maps to your liking and force players to either engage you or find another way around. My final verdict on the build is that if you want to make this work in your favour, you've got to play into the strengths of the glacier grenades or else the build may fall short on you. Luckily that's something easy to achieve and will make crowd control anywhere you go easy with just one simple grenade or heavy in use. So new players that are literally getting into Beyond Light, if you're looking for a build just to help you out until you get into more better understanding of other builds, this build here is probably the best one to go for and it will benefit you a lot. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. If you dig that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.